So, Euros. Euros, let's get back to the soccer. Let's, let's talk some European football. I've been saving that all day. Jeez. <laughs> all day to think of that one. No, no, it was last hour. We kept saying that. I was like, that would be funny. It's better than my 25%. Still. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. It's bad. It's I can't wait to listen bad. to it. Group A. I, I want to try to delete that. Out Group A, really Italy and Wales go through. <laughs> uh, and Switzerland get the third place yeah. uh, on four points. They go through. Italy Turkey, good. Turkey out. Italy, seven goals, zero conceded. Uh, they were flying under the radar a little bit before the tournament had started. Uh, in terms of big names, not like an, an old Italy, you know, with, no, a, with, not at with, all. A, with a Buffon and a Perlo. Uh, and and some of you know even going back before that you know with your Vieri's and your and your uh, uh, Filippo in Zaggi's um, they there's no reason why they can't win this thing that they, they have been really flying under the radar they're into the second favourite and the feel good story mm-hmm. out of the whole bloody tournament I'm going to say I was just going to say for Italy but for the whole tournament yep. Matteo Pessina uh, is 24 year old. He was playing, I think, three years ago. He was playing in third division, uh, mm-hmm. the Lega Pro. Mm-hmm. Worked his way up into City B and then got a season uh, at Atalanta. Uh, they've been doing really well recently. He was left out of the squad and he, he came in only because of an injury. He's playing really good. He's got a goal at the Euros and mm-hmm. it's sort of like a N'Golo Kante or a Jamie Vardy in that... Three years ago, he was playing third division football, and yeah. now he's there playing for his country and dom- dominating at a Euros. But still young, so you, we, we've got the late bloomers tag there. But still, twenty four. There's still a lot of football in him. In, indeed, indeed. But as well, at soccer. You're talking about like a Messi that got signed when he's thirteen. Yeah, but I think Barcelona. <laughs> you're like true, <laughs> you know true. Do you know what I mean? Like some of the some of the. Uh, the real child prodigies, they get onto them really early. So yeah. it, it's nice to see, you know, as an older bloke, you know, 31-year-old, you know, <laughs> maybe, but maybe just coming into me golden years now. I think you probably play goalkeeper and not much else in soccer, so. <laughs> yeah, State League 8 down on the camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but but all, all, uh, all jokes aside, I think Italy are a real contender. We'll get to the round of 16 yeah. uh, matchups soon. I'm on the Italian bandwagon. I'm that, here with all the pizza and pasta. Let's go, boys. Num, num, num. Uh, that let's, well, obviously anyone that's listening to this already knows the team that they'll face in the round of 16 is Belgium. Yeah. That's what you call the year. That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> Max, can you pull up the, the, that, the, the top 16 for us? On the screen, that was off, off the top of the dime. Uh, no, they don't play Belgium. Belgium. Someone plays Belgium. Belgium plays Portugal. Belgium, there you go. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah Belgium yeah. plays Portugal. Yeah, that shit needs to be up there, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. Right. There we go. There All right. So, so I, I think, um, <laughs> I think they're on the same side of the draw. Is where this has come in the yes. deep dark yes. space of my mind. Uh, probably if they both win, I think they play each other. Yes. Yes. Considering they both win, uh, th- that's the point. So in, <laughs> we got there. In, <laughs> In the quarterfinals, in the quarterfinals, yeah, click on that one. Uh, they they will have uh, uh, the winner of the Belgium and Portugal game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is two massive sides. Yeah, yeah, that's qualifying. That's <laughs> all right. Uh, Keep looking, Max. Top sixteen is what we're after. Um, so if you go to Group B, so Group A, Italy and Wales are the two main ones. Group B, mm-hmm. we've got Belgium and. I think awesomely Denmark come out of there too. Yeah, so they were on zero points yeah. after two games. Uh, they had to go out there and beat Russia and beat them well, mm-hmm. and and that's what they did. Yeah, four uh, one. Poor Ruskies. Uh, that uh, uh, Andreas Christensen goal, pretty close to goal of the tournament, a fucking rocket, mm. just about put a hole in the old onion bag. Uh, and Belgium, we spoke about Italy. Uh, they they've scored seven and conceded zero. Belgium scored seven, conceded one. Lukaku has three goals. Hazard, De Bruyne looking good. And they play 3-4-3. Three, three. They don't give a fuck. That they'll have three at the back and, and just attack. Yeah. And uh and we spoke about it last week. This is their window. Yeah. All, all their players are in their prime. Mm. If there's any time that they can do it, it's now. Do you think that they play attacking like that against Portugal? Uh well, it's always a bit different in a uh, in a knockout game because I can understand why they'd play like that against Denmark, Finland, and Russia. Mm. Like, like, I'm pretty. I think you as as a coach, you're pretty confident. Like, yeah, we're gonna win those games. 
Yeah, I I don't know if they change change up a um a formation this late in the tournament. Maybe, mm. maybe. Um, so Italy up against Austria in the yeah, round that's 16. right. And then and then I'm pretty sure they get the winner of the Belgium Portugal game. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. Yeah. Group C. So Netherlands and we just mentioned Austria. They Austria, go through. Austria go through. Uh, Ukraine go through as well. Mm-hmm. North Macedonia miss out. Uh, they did get some goals in this this tournament, which was good. I think for for, for them being probably the low. I think they were the lowest ranked team, weren't they, in the Euros? I think so. Uh, in terms of their ranking, in terms of uh, the, where the bookies had them, they scored mm-hmm. two, conceded eight. Absolutely, uh, have nothing to. Be embarrassed about going home a tiny country and mm. sh- a lot of Macedonians in Australia, uh, especially in the Canberra region. So shout out to any Macedonian mm-hmm. expats. Uh, Alex Volkanovsky is, is one of them. Um, the Netherlands, again, are sort of like Italy in that no one was really taking them that serious before the comp. And they go out, they get nine points. They've, they've scored goals. Uh, they're they're at thirteen dollars still. The bookies are still sleeping on them at it, um, and they're not. It's not the same side as when you had a Van Persie and a and a. That Robert. was going to my question. Are yeah. they as good as they were in the last decade or leading up to this? On paper, no, no, yeah. But Wijnaldum is is all class, and Memphis Depay is looking as <laughs> as good as he's ever been. They're playing a five three two, so very different um, to Belgium. In in that they've got. You know, uh, a more defensive setup, but they've got Dom Fries and uh, Van Arnholt cruising up the wings. Yeah. Um, they look, there's no reason why they can't go uh, deeper in, in mm. this tournament. Mm. Um, my concern um, for for going back to Italy is is that one side of the draw is, is heavily favoured compared to the other. Uh, in, oh, yeah. So, yeah. so on one side, to split them into two. You've got Belgium, Portugal, Italy, Austria, mm-hmm. France, Switzerland, and Croatia, Spain. Yeah. Yep. Then on the other side, Sweden, Ukraine, England, Germany, massive game. Yep. Netherlands, Czech Republic, Wales, Denmark. So mm. for mine, looking at that, that first half of the draw seems to be more heavily stacked with teams that can legitimately mm. win it. Well, your, your Belgiums, your Italy, your France. Well, is that five of, say, the top ten teams? Uh, I, I would say six of the be- of the best eight are on that. There you go. In, in Belgium, Portugal, Italy, France, Croatia, Spain. Spain. Yep. I think that's six of the best eight. I think England and Germany on the other side, uh, chuck, chuck the Netherlands, six of the best nine, mm. I think, are on one side of the draw. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Wales and Denmark, congrats for getting there, but you, you probably don't see them winning it. You don't see the Czech Republic winning it. Sweden, Ukraine, yeah. congrats. Yeah. Sw- and Sweden. I think Sweden's got a good side. There's, there, there's if you thing. want a real roughy, a real smoky, this is a team back in the 2018 World Cup mm-hmm, mm-hmm. made sure that Germany didn't go through. Yep. And Germany, we'll get to them in a second, they only snuck through by the skin of their fucking mm. teeth. Mm. Um yeah, maybe you can't write off a of Sweden, but in t- in terms of legitimate legitimate threats to winning the whole thing, mm. what was Sweden paying there, Max? Forty one dollars. That, well, that, they are best of the rest according to that. Well, so. De- Denmark's yeah. much shorter apparently, yeah. mm. but then yeah, if you, if you wouldn't mind scrolling up there, so yeah. I so, laughed so before because I couldn't believe England was six dollars. Like I don't know second how that, I don't know how that happens. <laughs> but, they shouldn't be there. But but France, Italy, Spain, Belgium. Are all on one side. Yep. One side of the draw there. Belgium mm. Ger- at ten dollars in the bag. And Germany, you can't write them out. That that Germany England winner, you'd think, is probably who goes to the semi final. Yes, maybe on that the, side. Yeah. Maybe the Netherlands have got something to say about that. Mm-hmm. But you look at this Germany side and they've really limped. They've really limped to get there. They they didn't even get out of the group in 2018 World Cup. You look mm. back to that that side. In 2014, in in Brazil, which spanked Brazil seven <laughs> one yeah. seven one in their own country, and you've got you know Miroslav yeah. Klose, the the best striker in World Cup history. You've you've got uh, Bastian Schweinsteiger. You got Thomas Muller. You got mm. Philip Lahm. Mm. You, you, yeah. you had one 
like that, that was a, a golden era Germany side. They're still Germany. They're still Germany. They're, they're still going to be disciplined. Yeah. They're still going to be good. But they just yeah. don't feel like. Well, they're, they're fourth favourite squad in a sports bet. So they're, they're, they're still just, up there. I, they just don't feel like that old Germany. No. Again, mm. it's Euros. It's it's football. It's soccer. Anyone on their day can win it. But they just okay. don't feel that that like that dominant yeah, side of, of yesteryear. And I think you throw Spain into that equation too. Yes. But so, yeah, for, for yeah. mine, on paper, it's a, I think France is the best side, mm. but I think Belgium, man, they're at $10. That's nice value. And I really I really do think the winner comes comes from that, that one side of the draw where you've got Belgium, Portugal, Italy, France, Spain. Yeah, yep. got the hard road. Got really good competitive matches. So hopefully they steal you to get into the finals. But on the flip side, maybe that wears you out to get there, but we'll see. So to, to round off the groups, so Group D, England and Croatia went through. Yep. Uh, group E was Sweden and Spain, as we mentioned. And Czechs also in that And the group. Czechs all came yep. through there. And then Group F was France, Germany and Portugal, which was the group of death, essentially. So group of death and Hungary. For, for Hungary group of death for a, Hungary. <laughs> a valiant Hungary. They were a, yeah. a, a bee's dick away from, from uh, stealing a lot of German uh, hopes mm. there. The big group. Story out of that, and I think it was back in the first game, yep. was the Cristiano Ronaldo presser mm. uh, where he essentially, they had a Coke here. He said, nope, and he took it out, <laughs> and he said, aqua, and pretty much showed he's disgusted uh, having a Coca-Cola in front of him. He yeah. just wanted to drink water. Drink water. And uh, subsequently, Coke's shares <laughs> plummeted about $3 billion. <laughs> Yeah, they the day after they yeah. plummeted by billions of dollars, and the following day they even lost more money. So ridiculous. Yeah, they've recovered a little bit since then, but not not great. It was funny uh, that uh, Yamalenko from Ukraine. He was saying uh, he's happy for for Coke or Heineken, who's also a major sponsor. Mm. Uh, that he's saying happy for any of them to get in contact with him. I was saying to the boys, we're also happy for, him, <laughs> for Coke or Heineken or fucking. You know the river water from down Tuggerong Lake to to get in contact with us. We'll, we'll Maybe put not you Tuggerong Lake. Yeah, <laughs> some pond water with some scum on the top of it. Yeah, <laughs> bit of blue green algae. Uh, we're we're happy for you to sponsor our show. Uh, but yep. unbelievable the the actions of one bloke moving uh, a can of coke can can cause three billions of dollars of loss. Uh, capitalism hmm, holes in it perhaps. Mm-hmm. And Pogba did the same thing. Uh, a Muslim. Uh, for Heineken. Yep. For Heineken. But it's a Heineken zero. Yes. So it's also yep. did not have any yeah. alcohol. No. Heineken's think- share prices went up though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. So I yeah, guess it's a little bit that. Yeah, it's like, oh, uh, Heineken. Oh, I didn't re- Yeah, Heineken. Oh, the share price looks good. I might buy that. Yeah. It's but, the old uh, meme, meme stock of the US at the moment. Yeah. Just jumping on random shit. <laughs> right. Anyways. Uh, if we no financial advice here on on this. <laughs> well, we give shit tips in sports. So if we were to give you financial advice, uh, go buy a tent and I'll go live in it with you because that's about where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Round of sixteen, if you wouldn't mind, monks. We've already spoken a little bit about it. Um, Belgium and Portugal is a massive, massive matchup. Italy and Austria going at it. Uh, you'd imagine the Italians get yep. the job done there. France and Switzerland, you'd imagine the French get the job done there. Croatia and Spain, Spain aren't the old Spain. I think it's a sneaky good game. Yeah, it's a mm. great game. And to be fair, Croatia aren't the same team that pushed France to, to win the World Cup a few years ago. Then on the other side of the draw, Sweden and Ukraine, uh, congrats to the Swedes for, for winning another group, uh, as they did in the World Cup. Probably don't see either of those sides winning the whole thing. England, Germany, oh, probably the, the most yeah. scintillating matchup there. It's in London. Yep. And then Netherlands, Czech Republic and Wales, Denmark. It does seem that one side of the draw is far more interesting uh, in terms of strike power than the others. Anyways, the Euros are going ahead. It's a year late, but how good? That's it, yeah. 